Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I'm Marv. This is readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your weekly energy reading carrying you through the energy of November 19th through November 26th for the beautiful sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Let's go ahead and jump into this astral weather. Um, first and foremost, happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to Sagittarius season. Um, astral weather is going to have... It's going to bring us the energy this week of a sun sextile Pluto taking place approximately Monday through Wednesday ish. Then Wednesday beyond to the tip of next week, next Sunday or um, Monday, we're going to be experiencing a Mars square to Saturn. And as coined by Lori Lothian um, at Lunatic Astrology, she said that this could feel like we have our foot on the brake and the gas at the same time. So welcome to Sagittarius season, Cancer. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into your energy as you are already staring at the, your cards. We move into this week with a King of Wands energy, which is beautiful. I did notice the Sagittarius influence on a lot of these readings that I, um, I uh, tapped in and shuffled for. Um, you are no um, exception. Um, there is a lot of energy. So there is a king of wands in your energy. This individual knows what they want. They want you. All right. Or this is the energy that you're embodying going into and looking at things from a standpoint of what you want and going after those things. OK, with that being said, um, it could be dreams and things that you've put off. But now you're going into those, you know, energies and exploring them a little bit more, which is beautiful. I feel that um, for some of you guys, you're going to be really going for it. Does that make sense? It's feeling like you're going for it. You're going to be applying <laughs> as a uh, associate of mine on Instagram says, applying pressure at all times. You're not going to be letting up off of what you are the, the path that you're following, okay? You know exactly what you want. No one has to tell you what the hell it is that you want, Cancer. This is what I'm feeling for you. Um, this King of Wands also um, is bold. There is a level of decisive uh, decisiveness with him, although this or, or, or this energy, although it is um, a very fiery energy, okay? Um, you know what you want and you're making the decisions right now to go after what it is that you want. And that's where I'm going to leave that. Now, when we get to the next energy here, we are obviously looking at the Ace of Swords. So you're being decisive because you've already um, expanded. I'm sorry, accepted a truth about in your heart about something that um, has been elusive to you going into a brand new mental clarity and force about something, making your mind up that this is the way it should be. This is the way it's going to be. This is what I understand about whatever. If we actually go one more over and look at what's staring back at us, which is the lovers, we know that this is kind of a, um, one of those type of readings. Okay. So you're coming into a newfound truth and clarity in your heart. That's my heart place card, as you guys know. So as you stare at this, you're moving passionately toward your truth. And you're doing it in a two of wands energy. Because again, that two of wands is further cementing and giving that king of wands a lot of energy and momentum as far as planning and making decisions and leaving your comfort zone. So you are going into an energy where you are taking risk. You're not playing it safe anymore. No more safeness for you, Cancer. Um, you know, sun, moon, rise, and Venus. It doesn't matter. You, you feel like you have everything, but there's always a hunger for more. You know, you are hungry for more. The globe that's in that person's hand represents the new potential and opportunities and experiences. Um... The two of wands reminds us that when we want to make progress in life and relationships, we have to take the first step into the unknown. So this is kind of what you're doing. You're making, you're choosing yourself and you are in an energy of making sure that you take the necessary steps, but it's, it's also strategic. It may be scary, 
but it's strategic cancer. And again, if this isn't you, then this is definitely someone that is going through this towards you. Okay. Then when we look at the past, we see the ace of pentacles. There could have been a missed opportunity in the past, which is the exact reason why this individual or yourself may be going into this with brand new eyes, deciding that you are going to apply yourself the right way this time. There is an ace of pentacles, which represents a brand new uh, stable beginning or maybe a commitment. Maybe between you and this individual, when they were ready, there was a, um, a, a, a point of mark that they missed. There was something that was missed with this ace. Um, because it is in the past and you guys may not be together. So new opportunities for stability and prosperity and security. You've manifested this to a certain extent. And this is going to represent either somebody that is coming in brand new to you or a person that missed their opportunity in the past. And they're not going to let this, this opportunity pass them by again. They screwed up once. They're, they damn sure don't. don't um, they're not going to screw up again, if that makes sense. We do have the lovers here looking back at us, um, which is our major arcana. The lovers um, is a lot to deal with because that is our card of love, relationships, passion, desire, choices. All right. The yin and the yang, the masculine, and the feminine, the heaven and the earth. All right. The lovers, though, first of all, let's go back to this, this, this Ace of Pentacles before we get into the lovers, because there is a shadow side here. What happened with this opportunity with an Ace of Pentacles in the past? Well, it looks like it could have been a lack of security. It looks like there was an, uh, a missed opportunity, basically. Um, there could have been an energy of a person or this individual that's represented in this lover's card taking too much caution or offering you a opportunity that wasn't as lucrative. Um, when I say lucrative, maybe that's the wrong adjective. Offering you a opportunity for stability, but there's a catch. Okay. Um, this person could have wanted it, but based upon their own greed, not for the right reasons. That makes sense, right? Why was this a missed opportunity? Well, because their heart wasn't in it. Their mind wasn't in it. Something that they were supposed to do cancer did not land with you the way it was supposed to. And so with that being said, that would explain the reason why it's in the past. Maybe you guys did move forward and what you thought was going to be a good opportunity and it turned out to be BS. But it, it was only BS because there was a greed. <clears throat> Excuse if you hear the commotion. I'm reshuffling and my, um, <clears throat> my blinds got ruffled. I apologize. It's good to some extent, but then there was parts of it that wasn't. You felt like maybe you were, you were being taken advantage of. You feel like although there was a brand new opportunity, Something felt wrong about that opportunity in the past, which leads us right back to the lovers. This is our major arcana. So this particular week, the lovers is on your mind. This represents your love. All right. This represents the passion and desire. But when this is in the reverse, though, it's the relationships are strained and they lack harmony. So you don't feel in sync with this individual or the feelings are not mutual. Um, and there's a large imbalance that leads to disunity, insecurity and disappointment. So 
I feel like that kind of gives me a brand new clarity on why this could look positive. But at the same time, you know, when, when, we, when you're looking at the truth in the heart, I think that's what you were looking at. This is for cancer. What else came out? And of course that falls. Yep. You were the wounded warrior because this had been going on all the time. Yep. This person, um, this opportunity, this ace of pentacles, you don't feel like this person put in enough work for it. What else? And then the sun. Although it made you happy, there was something about it again that just wasn't, it was disingenu disingenuous. Something about it wasn't 100% there. All right. It did make you happy. This person did make you happy. If we look at the top of the deck, we're looking at nine swords. It definitely has left you or this person up at night. The past indicates a six of swords. There's a lot of thoughts in the head. There could have been a separation or you guys are still in a separation. But this person is making their way back around. And what I am feeling um, from this is that they're not going to. Lightning um, doesn't strike twice. So they're not. Well, maybe it does. But they're not going to allow you to get away this time. They're coming in refocused and they know exactly where they went wrong the first time. And they're not intending on losing you a second time. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Cancer, what remains is the lovers. And this is what this person wants you to remember. Either you to them or them to you. I will see you next week when we do it again. Happy Sagittarius season and happy Thanksgiving. Bye, guys.